Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna walk you through an app using the UiPath apps and UiPath data services, a health check dashboard or a health check app, which we have created for the hackathon, which just happened or the last hackathon of the year organized by UiPath, wherein we utilized category two using UiPath apps and data services. We made an app to check the health status and uh, let me give you a brief introduction about the idea. So the idea was that mostly all the organization, whether it's a mid-level or it's a MNC, they use the microservice architecture to check in the health of various applications, various services, whether they are down or whether they are up and running or whether any ticket has to be created or whether any license has been expired. And they usually have dedicated teams to monitor this. And when you have dedicated teams that involves obviously the manner, then there's a cost associated with it. And if the downtime is not reported at the correct time, there could be even an SLA breach. So our app, the solution which we have provided, provides a one-stop solution for checking the health of various app or even creating actions in the UiPath Action Center in case an app is down also to schedule the triggers from the app itself, to make announcement from the app itself, to get the latest update from the app itself. So all in all, it's a package of all the things that you need to do when the status check or a health check of a system is involved. So the origin, as I told you, usually this is the architecture what every company follows. And then there's a dedicated team manually who's performing the health check. The business importance is that whenever there is error, or whenever there's an SLA breach, there is a revenue loss associated with it. And we, the evidence is that we like verified it by a word of mouth survey with around 10 colleagues and they belonged to various domains. And according to the survey, this would be really helpful to the organization. And uh, this is the architecture of our app. Then these all are some of the domains and their use cases, which our app could make an impact on and could affect it. Then there are many features also. And even we made little enhancement also in our apps, which I would be covering in the upcoming video. Till then, if you like the video, you can let me know in the comment section so that I can even walk you through the technical thing that how we did it, what technical, the coding part and integration part, I can even walk you through that if you like the idea. As of now, let me give you a brief, or you can see even a detailed one, a demo of the application by showing you all the functionalities that are there in the application. So let's quickly get started with the demo. So welcome to Headspace. This is the login page of our app. So here we can enter in the username and the password and login. Before that, let me also show you the sign up page where I'll try entering or registering myself with a username that has already been used. And we would see the error that it says that this username has already been occupied and I cannot use that username. Also, we have this functionality wherein we can hide and show the password as we type. And let me try clicking on sign up. Oops, user already exists with that username. Try any other username. Now let's try logging in using the same username as we used. So it's user, that is, that is the username which we used while logging in. So it's logging into the dashboard. Also, as it logs in, it refreshes the dashboard. That is, it brings in all the results from the last execution about the health status of various application and services. So as you can see, it says refreshing dashboard. That is, it would fetch in all the last execution result to display here so that you don't start afresh and you're aware of the last execution or last status of each application. Isn't it looking full of information? So let me start one by one. So here you can see a lot of process whose health we can check. Also, we have this very intriguing action request, which I'll soon show. So if I click on the claim system check health or on the email gateway service, so if I click on the email gateway service, you can see that the action request button next to this email service is disabled. It only gets enabled if your particular process is down. Also, as you may have noticed, as I clicked on check health, this button got disabled so that to avoid multiple requests for the same thing from the user. 
also all these message which you can see here has also also been fetched from the last execution result and you can see it changed earlier it was green now the status has been changed to red and along with that the action request button has been disabled because for the email gateway service as it was down we can even take an action on it if i click on action request an action was, would be created in the UiPath action center or you can say a ticket would be created and that can later be assigned to the concerned team and action taken the action has been created with a task id if we go to the action center we would find a ticket or an action created for email gateway service as it was down also if you can notice here the triggers so it is that for checking all these process that are already scheduled made in the orchestrator if you want to enable the schedule so that it keeps checking periodically whether the system is up or down and inform the concerned team accordingly you can enable the schedule also you can see which schedule is enabled and which is not as you can see here the cloud orchestrator and the backend database is already enabled if i show you the triggers you would be able to see here that the backend database and the cloud orchestrator is already enabled what if now i enable one more schedule i want to enable the schedule for claim system because i would be on leave for four days and i do not want to miss this thing that I don't check what is the status of claim system and because of that furthermore teams or furthermore people are not able to do their job. So I've enabled the schedule. Now if I go back and just refresh it, I would be able to see that the claim system schedule has been enabled. Also, these are the latest updates. If I want to just avoid checking what is the health of the cloud orchestrator or what is the health of the email gateway service because my colleague has just logged in five minutes earlier to me and he or she has already checked in the health so i would be able to see it here in the latest update if i see okay the email service was running fine on 18th november at this particular time and i've just logged in two three minutes later to it i need not to check the health because i would be able to see it in the latest update also if i just click on this refresh button I, it would fetch in the latest update from the data service to display it here to me. Also, there is an announcement section. If I want to say that uh, I have already raised license renewal request. If I just post this thing here, what would happen is that that is an announcement that I've made to all the users of the app. Now, if any of my co-colleagues logs into this app and they see, oh, the license is about to expire, they would also see that user, which is my username as of now, if you can see here, this also reflects here, my username, whichever person has logged in, his username would reflect here. So they'll be able to see, okay, this particular user has already raised the license renewal request, so they don't have to raise it so that it does not get replicated. Also, one more functionality is that suppose if a particular system is down and a lot many teams and people are getting affected because of it and I need to inform them. So we even have a share button here. If I click on the share button, I can pass in comma separated n number of emails so that they get notified. As of now, I'll be passing my email ID. Please find below the latest update from the health check dashboard showcasing the current health of all application and services. And you'll find a snip of the entire thing. And this is a system generated mail. Do not reply to this email. Regards, health check bot team Kriegers. A quick recap. So our app provides different process whose health you can check and raise an action request, enable or disable the schedule, see the status, whether it is, it is available or it is down, fetch the latest update from the data service, announce anything to all your colleagues at once. And also we have a logout functionality clicking on which you would move to the home page. So I hope you liked the idea which we implemented. And if you want me to walk you through every small technical details which we faced and every issues which we faced and how we overcome that, 
let me know below in the comment section so that I can do even a technical video developing each thing and showing how each component was developed and integrated. And thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.